Good afternoon, we are here at NBAA Day 2 with Tom Harper, Director of Marketing for Avidyne, which is based quite near my, my hometown uh, in Lincoln, Massachusetts. And uh, Tom is going to tell us a little bit about the MLX770 uh, data link receiver. And uh, Tom, uh, show us what we got here. All right, what we're looking at is uh, the EX5000, which is the Avidyne multifunction display, 10.4 inch display, which is found in uh, over 4,000 Cirrus and Piper aircraft. Uh, and we're showing interfaced with an MLX770 for international data link weather. And here, of course, we're looking at uh, Europe flying out of uh, uh, Switzerland into France and over into England. And as you can see, for those of us who have been flying in the United States and have had access to either an XM or a Sirius broadcast weather solution, uh, it looks very familiar to us. However, for folks flying in Europe, this is an all, all new uh, phenomenon to have access to satellite-based data link weather with virtual real-time updates that uh, provide a new level of safety and uh, utility for the airplane. And what we're seeing here, and you see the, the, both the traffic overlay and also weather overlay here in uh, you see the weather in, uh, in central and southern France as well as uh, the upper part of the United Kingdom. And so is this is this uh, inputted weather? Is this pulling, streaming live right now? This is streaming live, right. So it's, uh, it's the exact same feed what you would see if you were airborne. Uh, so in other words, we know where you are and we know what your flight plan is because the GPS is sending that information to the multifunction display. That information is linked via satellite back to the Network Operations Center at Avidyne. From that, we know where you're at, and therefore we send the weather appropriate for your flight. So since we're flying all the way from, from Switzerland across Europe into, uh, into England, we send the weather all along that route. And you can see here the little flags are graphical METARs, so they give a quick visual reference of what's going on with the weather. The cyan or the light blue is telling you it's a VFR. As the, as the colors change from yellow to green, from green to yellow and then on to red, and even magenta, that's where the more severe weather is. And uh, the MLX770 has an interesting feature, uh, uh, two-way text messaging. I believe it's the first implementation of two-way text messaging for uh, general aviation. Right, we, we actually had a, a, a two-way data link in our Orbcom, but now with this, it provides a worldwide two-way text messaging. Here you can put in the inf input, the phone number, or the, uh, the email address, and you can send up to 160 char characters in a standard SMS format, and it will go to uh, anyone's email and any compatible SMS uh, no mobile phone. So can this send a text message right now? Uh, or is this just a demo? It's, it, on the demo, demo it won't. Okay. But, uh, okay. yeah, <laughs> we, we were going to put an antenna on yeah. the roof, but we didn't for the show. Okay. Terrific. Is there anything else uh, about the MLX 770 that, that you want to show us? One of the unique ways we manage the uh, amount of data moving through the Iridium satellite network, which uh, affects the amount of data you get and the, the, the price of the service, is we uh, define a corridor around all along your flight plan, which is user definable. Of course, the wider the corridor, the more data you'll get. Of course, the more data you get, the, the, the more uh, it'll cost. But uh, in a slower moving airplane, it might not be as necessary to have uh, a, a large swath of weather. Clearly, you don't care about the weather that's in Eastern Europe if you're flying in France or England. Uh, but in this case, we've got a, a couple hundred miles on either side of our flight path, which is, should be sufficient. If we went over to the setup page at any time, we can uh, uh, come down here and we let's set it for a 400 mile wide corridor. So now we can we're gonna we're asking it to send more weather. Let's say the weather was particularly bad that day, and so we want to see what's going on out. So what's going to happen is it's going to recompute here in a second and it'll make a much wider corridor. With 400 miles on either side of the flight plan, you can pretty much get all of Europe. Here, now you can see it's expanded out to the actual boundaries of where data even exists. So as I scroll out in range, you can see, based on the flight plan that we've got in here, we've got virtually all the weather in the continent. And that has two advantages. Again, it, it, it gives us the weather we want for the for the actual flight we're on, and it manages the amount of data and, and controls our and manages our cost and the throughput through the satellite. So it gives you uh, you get optimum service as well. Again, the uh, the real exciting feature with this thing is it's opening up data link for 
hundreds and literally thousands of airplanes that till now have not had access to this kind of benefit, both in, in, in Europe and uh, we're opening up in South America and Brazil, uh, Australia is very interested. So, and, and our intent is that working with our partner at WSI is to uh, continue to grow the coverage area so that we can add Eastern Europe and, and points uh, points east and, and cover the whole globe. Okay, Trevor, well Tom, thanks so much for taking the time and I uh, really look forward to seeing this product flying real soon. You're welcome, have a good day.